We're getting our first look at what Israel claims is damage from an Iranian airstrike last night. This is near an Israeli military base. Israel's government says no one was killed, but world leaders are concerned that this could bring more countries into the Israel-Hamas war with consequences worldwide. The Middle East is on the brink. The people of the region are confronting a real danger of a devastating full-scale conflict. Well, good evening and thanks so much for watching. I'm Whitney Miller. And tonight we're also getting a better idea of the United States' role in warding off this attack and whether it could get more involved in what comes next. Dramatic video shows Israel intercepting hundreds of drones and missiles. President Biden said today the U.S. helped Israel with this operation, but that could end up being the extent of the U.S.'s involvement. The attack was in response to an Israeli attack on an Iranian consulate in Syria this month. It killed two Iranian generals. A source told CBS that the President Biden told Israel's prime minister the U.S. will not help attack Iran in retaliation for this latest attack. He also spoke with members of the G7, a group of national security leaders. They condemned Iran's attack and reiterated that they stand behind Israel. CBS's Christian Benavidez begins our coverage with a closer look at what's happening now. Yeah. New video released by Israeli Defense Forces shows how fighter jets intercepted Iranian drones and missiles headed towards Israel. In all, 99% of weapons were intercepted by Israel, the U.S., the United Kingdom, and Jordan as they lit up the night sky. Iran and its proxies launched approximately 350 suicide drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles and rockets from Iran, Iraq, Yemen, and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Look at the size and the scale, the scope of what they fired at Israel from Iran proper. You know, more than 300 missiles and drones. They wanted to cause damage, no question about that. But they were utterly unsuccessful in doing so. Following the attack, President Joe Biden held a phone call with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. CBS News has learned Biden told Netanyahu that the U.S. would not participate in a reprisal strike on Iran. The president's made it clear we're not looking for a war with Iran, we're not looking for a broader regional conflict, and everything we've been doing since the 7th has been designed to prevent that outcome. President Biden met with other G7 leaders via teleconference Sunday over Iran's unprecedented attack, which was in response to an Israeli airstrike to Iran's embassy in Syria. Biden is under increasing pressure over Israel's response in Gaza to the October 7th attack and is hoping to avoid escalation to a wider regional conflict. A CBS News poll done prior to the Iranian strikes showed just 33% of Americans approve of President Biden's handling of the conflict. Christian Benavides, CBS News. And this escalation is getting a local response as well. The Jewish Federation of Greater New Orleans released a statement saying in part that it, quote, condemns Iran's attack against Israel in the strongest possible terms. It went on to say our communities stand in total solidarity with Israel and the IDF as they work to defend themselves from these brazen attacks. Meanwhile, Jewish Voice for Peace New Orleans also released a statement saying Israel is, quote, directly responsible for the escalation of regional tensions.